Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I want to carefully explain to you how to make the Erasmus Mundi scholarship application. So, a lot of people have reached out and sometimes they are taking the wrong steps. So, today I want to carefully explain to you the steps you need to take in making the Erasmus Mundi scholarship application. <music> steps you need to take before making the Erasmus Mundus scholarship application. I would recommend you go see the video if you've not before you continue with this video. Now I'm going to be putting the link somewhere here or here for you to see the video. I recommend that you should see it before you continue with this one. Now, how do you apply for the Erasmus Mundus scholarship? The first thing you need to do, like I already stated earlier in the previous video, the first thing you need to do, go to the EU's website or just search on Google Erasmus Mundus Scholarship Catalog and you're going to find it there on the internet. It's there and the website it's on is the EU's website, the official European Union's website. It's there. When you click on it, you're going to see the list, like the entire list of the programs um, available. You're going to see it and then you're going to see filters that you can use to search out the programs that best um, suits you or your interests. Now, what you're going to use, I would recommend that you use the, um, the filter for the um, year of student intake and the filter for the field of study. These are really two important um, filters that I think you should use. The other filters might you know, get you confused depending on which part of the world you are applying for. It might get you confused, but I would recommend um, year of intake, particularly year of intake. All the programs for that year would be out there and you're going to go through it one after the other. You can, um, you can furthermore um, narrow your search by using the um, field of study. Maybe you're in economics, you're in, um, you know, physical sciences, or um, you're going to see the different list of fields there. You're going to use it and then narrow your search. And it will bring out all the courses available from um, for that year in that field of study. What you should do next is to select at most three programs. Please do not select more than three programs because there's a chance that you might get the entire three programs. What happens when you apply for more than three scholarships? You're going to lose if you get even one of it, and maybe you didn't get the other scholar uh, other programs you applied to. You're going to lose that scholarship. It is clearly written there on the EU's website. Do not apply for more than three, because you know they have your data, every details about you. They know how many programs you're applying for, and the rule is do not apply for more than three programs. So you need to adhere to that. Choose programs that best suit your interests, that are attractive to you. Choose those programs. Now, when you choose those programs, you can write it down somewhere or if you know them offered, you just, you know, have it at the back of your mind. Now, the next thing to do is for you to click on those programs and read about them on the EU's website to, just to make sure that they're exactly what you, what you think they are. Read about them. When you finish reading about them, know their coordinating institutions, know their partner universities and other universities they work with. When you've done this and you've had um, enough knowledge and you're sure that is the exact program you want, what you need to do, go straight to the coordinating universities website. For example, if your coordinating university um, is the University of um, Glasgow, Go straight to the coordinating universities website and type that program. Usually on the website of the universities, of most universities, if not all, you're going to see a search button there where you can type programs that, um, where you can search for programs that are available. Now, what you need to do is go there. For example, University of Glasgow is a coordinating university. Go to the University of Glasgow and search for that program. Every single detail you need about that program would be out there. Now, when you search for it, you're going to see the requirements, every single thing they need. Sometimes they need a first class, sometimes they need a 2-1, sometimes 2-2 two -two with relevant experiences and, you know, all the things you need to know. Sometimes um, test of English language, some schools I have it waived. Now you go there, look at the requirements. Make sure you carefully, I tell people that come to me, I'm like, you need to ransack the website of these schools. 
like go through it front back center everywhere just make sure you go through it everywhere make sure that you've gone through it you know the requirements also programs have their um different website like my own program they have their website aside the school's website now another thing you need to do go to this program's website ransack it read everything about the program every single detail you think you need to know go to that program's website read everything about it while you've also read about it on the university's website go now to the program's website read every single detail you're, you're going to have a, enough information from the program's website go there read about it and um, their requirements some of them allocate marks or points to um, maybe test of English. Some do not allocate um, marks or points to test of English. It's just a general school requirement. So know that the important thing and the good thing about Erasmus is that they usually tell you the, the different points for different um, your different um, eligibility criteria, different points for it. Like for my program, your, um, your previous um, study background relevance is like 20 points. Your academic grade is at I think about 30 points and then you know your reference data was about 12 points and you know things like that those little little things now you get to know these things in details know every single thing about it so that you know where your your strength is and you can major in that your strength it's really important so when you've done this you know every every almost every detail about this program then you begin your application you begin to write that mind-blowing sop i already made a video about writing an sop i think you should check it out somewhere here i'm going to put the link up so you need to check it out know how to write a mind-blowing sop go ahead write that your sop make that application and um, get your references um other supporting documents ensure you submit those um supporting documents as at when do you do not wait for um, um time to pass by you and then that's when you want to submit your relevant documents or supporting document do not do that ensure by the deadline when you're being asked to submit those documents you do that and when you've done all this made your application sent in your application the next thing you need to do is if you want to apply for other ones, go back and, you know, begin afresh to apply for a different scholarship. You know, like I stated earlier, you can apply for uh, at most three scholarships. You can take your chances for applying for the entire three scholarships. You can apply for those programs and their different scholarships. You can do that. Now, when you've done, made, uh, made your application, sent in your application, another thing is you need to sit back and know whether your program will, do, will conduct an interview or maybe an aptitude test or maybe a Skype call for, you know, just to get to know you and all that. If they will, you need to prepare for your Skype interview. You need to prepare for your test. You need to sit back. What are these people? What is expected? And now you also, you also need to reach out to maybe people that have gone ahead of you and ask, okay, look at what I've done. Look at how far I've gone. What do you think I should do? Look at my requirements and all that. You need to put in work and... Trust me, if you take these steps, if you do these things while applying for your Erasmus scholarship, you are going to clinch on at least one scholarship. Take these steps, do these things you need to do. Trust me, you're going to get at least one scholarship, one Erasmus scholarship. So thank you for watching and I hope this video was really helpful to you. I look forward to um, hearing from you people. I look forward to hearing that this video was really helpful to you in your application. So until when I see you guys next time, bye.